African Jazz Art Society and Studios was a powerful organization that evolved out of the Garvey movement. When we organized the Jazz Art Society, we were primarily focused on producing jazz concerts in the Bronx. The one place where we have made real progress is with hair, where black women are totally liberated in terms of hair. We didn't know um, how this idea would be accepted, because at that time, the idea of black women wearing their hair in its natural state was not very popular. That was um, the beginning of what some people call the Black Arts Movement, some call the Black is Beautiful Movement, but it was a, a movement of the aesthetical showcasing of the Black experience, the Black aesthetics, which had not really been featured since the 1920s. Back then, growing up, black was not in, it was not in style to be black. My mother used to say, how are you gonna get a job now with that nappy hair? <laughs> you know what I mean? So people really didn't believe that you would fit into corporate America and uh, things like that. And when the Grand Dasa gave me a world view, more of what's going on in Africa, but all these young girls now who wear their hair in various straits of curl, kinky, half curl, half kinky, half this, one day this way, one day. It's because they have the freedom to wear their hair in any kind of way and the knowledge of knowing that they look darn good. Elambe Brath, Kwame Brathway, Chris Esmond, Desis Hall, Jimmy Abu, Frank Adu, Bob Gums. We would like to shine a spotlight on a group of brothers who came together in 1956 to form an organization that was later known as the African Jazz Art Society Studios in the Bronx, New York. A-Jazz, pioneers of the Black is Beautiful movement.